G'day. Let me show you how to create your first thematic campaign. A quick bit of background. The thematic campaign in Speed PPC is also known as a single theme ad group campaign. This campaign is the most common campaign used in Speed PPC these days since the close variant matching came into effect at Google. In many ways, it's the Goldilocks campaign structure. It's not too narrow and not too wide. You still have a nicely siloed grouping that allows you to have ads that are well matched to what the user is looking for. This way, you get much better click-through rates and quality scores. At the same time, you also have plenty of keywords in each ad group to focus on fewer responsive text ads. This helps them learn quicker and get better results. In most cases, we would recommend this campaign type for most campaigns you build. In this example, we're going to build a campaign for a bike shop that wants to grow the servicing part of its business. So we're going to build a campaign that focuses on the different types of services that the bike shop offers. Okay, let's get cracking. First, create a new campaign. I'll name this Fast Freddy's Workshop by service type, thematic. I'll give a quick campaign description. We're building a Google campaign with responsive text ads. The campaign type is a thematic campaign and we're going to use two keyword lists. Hit next. This is where we load our keywords. You can either cut and paste these keywords directly or else load them in from your saved keyword sets. You'll notice we have two lists. The seed keyword list is what the themes will be based around and is the keyword we can use in our ads. For example, we will have an ad group on the theme tune up another ad group on the theme, break service, etc. Google's machine learning now looks at keyword intent rather than exact keywords. So this keeps your ad group thematically clustered around search intent. In the expansion keyword list are some of the different ways people might search for that kind of workshop service. You'll see in this list, we will have different types of bikes and 56 different bike brands. In our build, We'll combine these with the seed keywords. Now, as you go down, you'll see the URL section. Speed PPC creates the URL at the keyword level. You'll want to put your website URL in this section here. Google already adds your UTM tags automatically, so you don't need to do that. However, you can pass other values into the URL for internal tracking or dynamically changing the landing page if you have that capability. We will just leave it as our landing page for now. You can safely leave these as the defaults, but there are some advanced options you can make use of under this tab. The main one I would ever add would be changing the mix type. Let's change this to every variation. This just combines the keywords both ways. You'll see this in the output. You'll also see you can add negative keywords here too. We'll leave this for now. Let's move on to the bids tab. Here you can set your match types and bids for that keyword type. This applies to each keyword within your campaign, so you'll likely want to update this later. As a general rule, we would recommend not using broad match and only use phrase and exact. We didn't put any negative keywords in, so we can leave those as default. Okay, so here is where you create your ads. You can think of these as ad templates. Within them, you can use what we call tokens to dynamically insert keywords that will match your keywords for each ad group. One rule to remember is that in thematic campaigns, you can only use the seed token in the ads. Only single keyword ad group campaigns allow you to use all tokens. I'm going to load in an ad I wrote earlier so you don't have to watch me typing the ad out. A few things to note. You'll see I've used the seed token for the title case. This forces all dynamically inserted keywords to be in title case. Generally, for headlines at least, you should use title case. Next, you'll see that I've included a fallback. Sometimes when the keywords are dynamically inserted, they have too many characters for the spot in the ad. For example, 
30 characters in a headline. In this case, Speed PPC will use the fallback. You want to always set the URL separator sign to no spaces. You can add up to 15 headlines and four descriptions. Normally, you'll want to throw in the seed in path one. You can then use your same URLs as your keyword URLs. However, when you have keyword URLs, ad URLs are not used for search campaigns. Okay, now here is where you can check out the build before outputting. You'll see that the campaign has created your campaign with 18 ad groups centered on your seed keyword themes. Speed PPC has combined these with your expansion keywords to give you lots of keywords to enrich the theme. You'll also see the ads now perfectly match the searcher intent of the ad group. This will help you increase your click-through rates, your quality scores, and your conversion rates as they better reflect the intent of what people are searching for rather than just creating generic bike servicing ads. You'll also see an example of the fallback. Suspension service was too long for the headline, so it rolled back to the fallback keyword. It was fine for the longer description section, however. So we're now ready to do the export into Google Ads Editor. If you haven't used Google Ads Editor before, now is the time. Most PPC pros use this as their primary method for building and maintaining Google Ads. Let's export your campaign. First, we grab the keyword output using the blue copy button. Then, head over to Google Ads Editor. Make sure to get recent changes and sync your accounts first. We can then navigate to the Keywords section, then choose Make Multiple Changes to upload the keywords export that we copied from Speed PPC. Once the pop-up window appears, under Destination, select My Data Includes Columns for Campaigns and Ad Groups, as these are included in the Speed PPC export. Then click the Paste from Clipboard button and your keyword data will be added, with the correct columns mapped, ready to go. Now click the process button. You'll see a confirmation window with a breakdown of what has been added or updated. You can now click finish and review changes. Upon review, you'll see the new campaign created with ad groups and keywords built out by Speed PPC. If it looks in order, click keep to confirm. Now we'll go to responsive search ads under ads to get ready to upload our final ads export. Back in Speed PPC, we'll copy the ads export. Under Responsive Ads in Ads Editor, click Make Multiple Changes. Paste your ads export from Clipboard, making sure that the destination is still selected as My Data includes columns for campaigns and ad groups. Click the right amount of ads have been added rather than skipped or updated. Then finish and review changes. Keep the changes and you'll see your ad showing in the same newly created campaign. Your Speed PPC import is now complete. There are a couple of fields to enter that aren't included in Google's keyword and ad upload templates. The first is budget and you'll see a red alert on it. The second requirement is default ad group bids. Note that keyword bids take precedent, as these are more specific, so in most cases ad group bids are not used. Simply enter your campaign budget. This alert then disappears. The second requirement is default ad group bids. Note that keyword bids take precedent, as these are more specific, so in most cases ad group bids are not used. However, default ad group bids are still a mandatory field in Google, though not in Google's keyword and ad templates, and therefore not in Speed PPC. Select all ad groups and enter a default ad group bid to satisfy Google's requirements. Once you've checked over your campaign settings, you're now ready to post changes and your campaign will be live. Thanks for watching.